A very good afternoon to all dear listeners. I am Amir Mehboob, Assistant Professor, Department of Management, the Bhopal School of Social Sciences. Aaj ke module mein, I am going to talk to all of you about effective business communication. Yes, business communication is very important because I know that you all would agree with me that without proper communication, it is almost impossible for any organization to run smoothly and to run effectively. So first of all, we'll be talking about definition of meaning, definition of communication, models of communication, components of communication, and the significance of communication. So when we talk about communication, we all know that communication can be defined as an exchange and exact, exact mind my words, replication of thoughts, feelings, facts, beliefs, and ideas between and among the individuals through a common set of symbols to cause some action to change in behavior. Now here you need to notice one thing that there must be proper action after some communication. There should be proper feedback after every communication. When we talk about the process of communication, it starts with the sender, of course, the sender that right now I am the sender and all of you who are listening to be my dear friends are the listeners. The first person, the first point in the process of communication is sender. Then the sender encodes the message then he will transfer or transform or transmit the message then the decoding will take place by the receiver receiver will decode the message after receiving the message and then he will give the feedback about the communication it is very important to know what are the components of communication so here are the components we have got the sender the receiver encoding decoding semantic noise is also an important component of communication semantic selection signal transmission signal reception media and channel noise and of course feedback all these important components of communication must be taken care of if we want our communication to be systematic appropriate and in turn if we want it to be effective so now what is the importance of communication for business organizations or rather in other words i would i should say what is the significance of communication for managers what role does communication play for uh, for for the effectiveness for for making uh, business organization effective of course first of all it helps in man management employee relations yes all of us know that without proper and healthy relationships between management and employees no organization can reach to its target and they cannot achieve its goal predetermined objectives every what is management management is the art of getting things done in a systematic manner and of course uh, uh, art of getting things done in a systematic manner can only be done when there is proper cooperation coordination collaboration and of course healthy relationships between management and employees it also helps in manage maintaining healthy organizational environment our environment becomes healthy then the external and internal communication network you know every organization has got some internal communication as well as external you know we have got outside world also so many liaisoning you know uh, contacts and communication is to be maintained internally as well externally so all these relationships and the network is maintained in a healthy manner externally as well as internally with the help of proper communication also then the, the next significance is functionalization communication helps in bringing functionalization that is right kind of work given to the right kind of the person it is only after communicating with a person will the manager come to know it what is his or her area of specialization and then on the basis of his or her area of specialization can we delegate the authority it helps communication also helps in reducing the complexity of business activities as we know that nowadays with the entry of multinational companies globalization liberalization and open business policy business has become very complex and you know there is cutthroat competition so if we want to survive effectively in this competition any business wants to survive they must have proper communication if there is proper communication we will we can avoid the problems like trade unions conflicts uh, strikes, lockouts, and all these things which are not at all good for any uh, health. Whenever a com whenever an employee or a worker feels that he or she is being neglected or ignored or not given importance, definitely they might go towards labor. So there should be proper, uh, you know, two-way communication. Whenever they have any problems or grievances or any uh, matters to share, they should always be given a chance. There should be proper healthy time-to-time -time communication between the management and employees so as to avoid trade unions. 
multinational companies and labor problems of course all the problems relate to languages and you know problems arising in multinational companies when the business is expanded to uh, beyond the boundaries communication plays the role of an important tool and an important uh, you know uh, support system for uh, smooth conduction of business to survive in this cutthroat competition it is very necessary to have effective communication last but not the least participation and delegation is also encouraged and of course finds a place with the help of proper communication now when we talk about the objectives of communication of course as every like any other subject any other area communication also has got its objectives so the important objectives or important uh, features or uh, you know uh, uh, the areas where communication is required is of course the first one is information communication you know can be in the form of information if you are giving any information to anybody or if you are taking information from somebody then the second uh, you know the second objective of communication is order if 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 a person is giving any order to somebody you know to a boss is giving an order to his subordinates to supervisors to managers and a ceo is giving orders so for order we use use communication next component or next objective is advice suggestions motivation persuasion warning education and raising morale so these all are the objectives of communication okay so objectives we mean to say that the purpose what is the reason why you are communicating you may be communicating either for giving information or for giving an order or it may be in the form of an advice or information suggestion motivation if you are trying to persuade somebody to convince somebody to make somebody agree you know of course it's it's an objective of communication you are giving a warning to somebody educating right now i am educating all of you and i am using communication i am using oral communication we all know that there are two types of communication verbal communication and non verbal communication under verbal communication we have got oral and written and non verbal communication under non verbal communication we have got so many things like body language kinesics gestures postures artifacts haptics chronemics proxemics para language sign language so right now i am taking using uh, oral communication so information all of you know there are different types of information internal information as well as external information both are important for uh, for for smooth conduction of business organization then you know these are the various sources of obtaining information you know you can either with the help of interviews libraries questionnaire files the, you know, websites and so many media electronic media press uh, print media are all used for obtaining information then of course the next objective of communication is order order you know there are it may be there may be written orders or oral orders then we have advice okay another important component or objective of communication is advice what is advice we all know that advice is something which is uh, given at the time of problems and if you want somebody to do something then we have suggestions okay motivation if you want to motivate somebody you must use proper communication in 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 the absence of proper communication people might feel motivated there should be no communication gap if you want people to be motivated a small pat at the back a small compliment a small encouragement can motivate the person like anything yes of course we all know that then persuasion if you want to pursue persuade somebody or to convince somebody communication is required so another important you know uh, character uh, another important objective of communication is persuasion then we have uh, warning education and raising morale now uh, uh, next topic i am talking about are the channels of communication we have got the downward channel of communication all of you know which which is from uh, top to bottom then we have upward channel of communication which is from bottom to top okay then we have horizontal communication means communication with people with the of the same level then we have grapevine and consensus so uh, what is downward communication of course all of us know that downward communication is the communication which is flowing from top to bottom okay uh, upward communication is the communication which is from the subordinate to superior okay from the bottom level of management to the 
टॉप लेवल मैनेजमेंट ऑफकोर्स बोथ आर इंपॉर्टेंट बोथ शुड बी हेल्दी एंड बोथ शुड बी मीनिंगफुल एंड टाइमली दे शुड नॉट बी एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन गैप यू नो द हायर की ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन और द लेवल्स और लाइन एंड स्टाफ रिलेशनशिप और ऑल दीज थिंग्स शुड नेवर बिकम बैरियर्स इन द वे ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन बिकॉज इफ दिस इफ देर इज एनी काइंड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन बैरियर इन एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट माइट लीड टू यू नो सफरिंग्स एंड द फेलियर्स ऑफ बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हॉरिजोंटल कम्युनिकेशन चैनल ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इज कम्युनिकेशन विद द पीपल ऑफ द सेम लेवल एंड सेम रैंक रैंक ग्रेप वाइन इज द कम्युनिकेशन विच इज नोन एज इनफॉर्मल कम्युनिकेशन एंड ग्रेप ग्रेप वाइन can be can take place between anybody and everybody you know wherever a person finds comfortable himself or comfort herself comfortable they will start doing grape wine informal communication gossiping or rumors and all consensus is you know reaching to uh, you know reaching to consensus means final you are after discussing after mutual understanding and after listening to everybody we are reaching to a consensus to a final judgment for that also communication is required so friends in the end we can say that significance of communication or importance of communication can never be sidelined can never be ignored communication as the name suggests the, the word which is derived from the latin word communis it means to commune to to share or to pass on so this sharing and this passing on of information can only take place with proper communication and it will definitely lead to good relationships not only personal relationships but also professional relationships so excelling communication skills is very important all the types of communication whether it is oral or written nowadays all the communications which are taking place on social media is also very important and it must be very carefully and very sensibly handled that is why i always tell my listeners we must all handle our social media our internet profile very sensibly because when you if suppose after some years all you students listening if you go for a job or if you go for an interview there is a possibility that they might check your internet profile they might browse your internet history so we have to be extremely careful in whatever uh, whatever things we are browsing and searching and Uh, passing on and reaching and all these things because that is also one of the most modern forms of communication which sometimes is observed that some children and some students you know uh, misuse and spoil their life so be careful be sensible try to become an excellent communicator because excellent communication skills good communication skills will always take your career graph to bigger heights greater heights and of course you will be successful in whatever you do our best wishes to all of you thank you i'll be back with a new module